Welcome back to the shop. On today's episode, I'm gonna give you an overview of the hydraulics. We're gonna take a look at the drive system and how the foot controls work. So let's get started. I'm making use of the tractor control valve from a Case 446 with a stock pump in the standard drive configuration. The lift spool will feed my tractor loader circuit. These work parts feed a BM40 two spool joystick directional control valve with power beyond. The lift relief valve will need to be adjusted to the max setting of about 1000 PSI. And this port is used for the pressure gauge. This latch, when engaged, keeps the lift circuit on and flowing. It provides power to my loader hydraulics. When disengaged, the loader hydraulics won't work. It kinda works like an emergency disconnect. The bucket tilt mechanism is fed through these hoses. I'm using a series of hose clamps to keep everything in place and keep the hoses from cracking. I've also made some rests where the hoses bend to keep them from breaking. Here's the BM40 two spool valve. I'd recommend getting a valve with float control. This one doesn't have it and there's no option for it. This is a small heat shield to keep my leg from catching on fire as the hydraulics get really hot. And to make sure everything's operating properly, I have a small pressure gauge, and that's connected to the port just before the drive system. All the hoses are run underneath, and the lift cylinder. To increase oil capacity, I came up with this oil tank. It sits just above the radiator. Inside this section is a series of baffles, it's bolted here at the rear to the engine. This is the dipstick and fill port. The main reason for going to a larger tank was to keep it from overflowing onto my battery and electronic components. I don't have overflow problems now and the oil stays a lot cooler. Here's the oil filter down in this end. And it's gravity fed to the pump. Foot controls are a must. There's no way to operate the drive system with your hands while operating the loader. That's why I came up with this system for the drive. Pull back with your foot, you go back. Push down, you go forward. And this here is a little rest that's adjustable. Here I go, back and forward. In the future, I'll make this adjustable to fit different boot sizes. But right now, it fits these ones well. From the bottom of the tractor, you can see the lever that operates the drive system. It has two positions, and this controls how much foot action it requires. This second lever and spring returns the tractor to neutral. Here are both levers working together. In the top right hand corner, you can see the spring that maintains the foot control tension. Over near the left foot rest, you can see where the pivot rod comes through this bushing. It's held in place with a cotter pin and a washer. And over on the right side, you can see my pedal. I hope this gives you a better understanding of the drive system for this tractor and how the hydraulics work. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.